Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great and in this video I will be making the landing gear for the A380 and I've got the retrikes and the wheels and all this stuff from Electron Retrikes and so let's get started because I am so excited. So these are most of the parts. I've got two sets of Electron's ER40 EVOs and I've got 22 wheels. These are aluminium wheels. Super nice wheels. I've got four of these with brakes, magnetic brakes. Uh, I will be installing four wheels with brakes on the main landing gear, the ones on the fuselage. And these are the sets of retracts. I actually got two sets because I need five retracts in total. This one is for the nose and it's called a reversed. Uh, and this can operate at 100 degrees. So the nose gear will go all the way inside the fuselage. And the rest are 90 degrees. I use this in the Gulf Stream and the A350 and the Citation as well. This is the controller and uh, it's the GS200 and this one has uh, a gy gyro on the wheels which means when you use the brakes if the plane uh, goes left, left and right so it will apply less brakes on left or right you get the picture and this can uh, be super handy. All right, so uh, now I will start uh, building the landing gear, but uh, uh, I've seen a video uh, on Easy Composites where they made something, uh, it's called forced carbon fiber, uh, where they breast, breast the carbon and uh, they, they made some really cool parts out of it, super strong and super light parts, and I thought I wanna try this as well. And so for, for an A-liner landing gear, you need something called axle beam assembly or the beam assembly, I think it's called. The thing where you is, like, install six wheels or four wheels together. And I usually use uh, just a simple aluminum bracket. This is a thickness of one millimeter and I use this in every uh, A-liner. Like it's super light and strong enough. But I thought I want to make this part out of carbon fiber. And I did. Let me show you. So, I hope the camera focuses, yes. This thing turned out so nice. I made a mold for it, breast it. I just used like chopped carbon fiber with epoxy and this stuff, and it turned out so nice. Like this, nothing can beat the look of carbon fiber like installed uh, on the landing gear. This will look super cool, but it's too heavy. This is, I think it's around 120 grams because it's, solid it's full solid epoxy and carbon fiber so it's so heavy this is just just 40 grams i actually thought uh, i'll make a second mold where i have it like hollowed from inside empty with a wall of three or four millimeters thickness but th at the same time it will also end up around 40 or 50 grams for too much work and i don't i'm not even sure if the mold will work you know to release it and stuff like that it would be too much work and so i thought i'll give this up maybe i try it on a second project where i don't really care about the weight because the a380 has to be under 25 kilograms so i'm trying to shave as much weight as possible so i will go with the traditional way of me making the main the landing gear and i will also put some uh like 3d printed bars on it to make it pretty and paint the whole thing it will look also cool but of course nothing beats the carbon fiber but anyways another project and so i think i've talked too much uh let's start building the landing gear this video is sponsored by bcb way bcb way offers the best custom bcb prototype service with affordable prices starting from only five dollars you can get instant quotes, best value for your money, with minimum quantity requirements. They also offer custom CNC machining, 3D printing, and injection molding. Check them out at bcbway.com.
All right, so I had to put these two pieces of aluminium in here, thickness of one millimeter, and that is for locking the uh, brake magnet. This uh, bar should not be rotating, and so it's locked now. And then I can just install or add the axle inside, and uh, this will allow the brakes to basically work. Uh, they fit nicely and now for the four remaining wheels. I need to make some spacers in here uh, To match the distance between the two wheels and I will uh, 3d print these I think it's around 11 millimeters So I'll design them uh, quick and print them and then try to fit everything together All right Alright, so, so far I finished these two, uh, these are the six wheelers, they will go under the fuselage or like under the wing box, and these are 3D printed parts, I will of course paint later, but these are just test pieces, and uh, I redesigned these so it will allow the strut to fold all the way like that, because these ones will retract backward. And so I need to install like an aluminium rod from here that connects to the fuselage and with a pivot somewhere like on both sides. Maybe I'll need to use a spring somewhere so it can rotate while retracting and so all the wheels will be hopefully heading inside the fuselage. Uh, yeah, I still need to figure that out. I will uh, work on these now, finish these and then cut the doors in the fuselage and hopefully install these ones. All right. heavy oh no okay I think we have a problem
all right i am done with the landing gear uh, almost and this is the nose gear i installed the jetty servo in here this is 18 kilogram torque which is an overkill and those uh, ball linkages are from electron the, the servo arm as well and so now i will continue cutting the doors uh, there are still two doors in here i reinforced this from inside with a third layer of carbon fiber last night i did as well with these ones in here and so they are now cured and i will cut them now and install the tracks all right So because of the way the landing gear are uh, installed, the ones inside the fuselage has to go first. So I need to set up a delay and that will be done later in the radio. But these are now the two controllers. One is controlling the ones on the wings and this one is controlling the ones inside the fuselage. And so the one in the fuselage has to go first. So it leaves a way for the others to retract as well. These are gone in, and doors can close freely, which is cool. And then, other one. Perfect. And the doors, nice. And when gear down, these go first. Very nice. First this. One, two. Yeah, one second should be enough. Perfect. Very nice. <laughs> very nice yeah uh, still these ones here are heavy so I am not sure about that I might either change the retracts to the 50R which is much beefier retracts or uh, simply remove four of these wheels and only keep the ones in the middle for the brakes and put uh, some lighter wheels in here which I think it's a better idea so I can shave some weight but this landing gear is just epic so beautiful all right i think we're done
All right, landing gear is done. Uh, almost done. I still have to install the servos and the actuators on the doors. Uh, but I'm so happy that everything worked and uh, also excited to try the brakes uh, on this uh, controller. And also, uh, the next video, maybe I will take to the airfield, fully assemble it because I don't have space in my workshop, obviously. And also here outside where I live, it's not so nice space. So I'll take to the airfield, just put it all together and see how everything fits. So before I end this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Electron Retracts for providing all the parts uh, for the landing gear of the A380. I will leave a link in the video description. Uh, go check out their online store. And in my opinion, Electronic Tracts is the best in the market. I'm not saying that because they sponsored the project, but because I've been using them for a long time and I know that it's a high quality product and I never had any issues with it. So, links in the video description. All right, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next video and bye-bye.